Hey, so a repeating tasks function is something we've been asking Notion to deliver for us for absolute months now. And I think I've finally cracked it. Let me show you today how I have a repeating tasks uh, function set up for myself, created for myself. It really, really works. I've been using it all for the last week as part of the new Notion board view. And it's really, really working for me. And I'm sticking with it. And I think it's going to work for you too. So make sure you watch right to the very end. I'm going to talk you through how I've got this Notion repeating tasks set up in a way. It's just working so well for me, both on laptop, mobile and a desktop, all right? So that I'll talk you through it now. And before I jump into Notion, I just want to show you two particular aspects of this uh, of this application or this function that I'm particularly excited about. I'm really, really happy with these two aspects. Number one is to be able to mark a card complete or to keep viewing yesterday's card if um, if there's maybe tasks on there that I don't want to, I want to remember to do yesterday's tasks as well as today's. So we've got a way that we can manage that. So we still view yesterday's card or the days before his card. But once we're finished with it and we decide that we're done with it, we can get that card to disappear. And the other one is to only show us tasks that happen every Tuesday, for example, or of a particular day of the, the week or a particular day of the month. We need to remember these particular tasks. This is going to display on this view. And I'm going to show you how to set that up once we jump into Notion. Okay. So what we can see here is... Showing you here is the setup as I have it, right? The um, the tasks for today that I'm going to do tonight uh, in preparing for tomorrow, right? These are the tasks I need to get done today. So I'm going to check my diary. I'm going to check my tasks. I'm going to check the registration alerts. I've got a little link there conveniently for the missed lesson report uh, form that we use. Uh, I've got a few other jobs. I've got a nice divider in there. So it's all divided up. So that's great. And I can filter to show me only today's card or today and tomorrow or today and yesterday. It's all in there. Uh, it really, really helps with me tracking those daily repeating tasks without having to use templates to create new ones for tomorrow or anything like that there. Some of the descriptions online, fantastic as they are, don't get me wrong. But for my needs here, I don't want to be using a template to create a new bunch of tasks every day or week or anything like that. This is working for me. I'm going to show you exactly how I've got it set up. And the way we set this up is by using a table. This table here is included in the Notion Teacher Planner. So jump in there and grab it. Or you can set it up yourself. It's very not too tricky to set up. And all it is is a bunch of columns with different tasks and with different uh, property types in this table. So I've got check boxes. I've got a date formula. I've got um, a formula to work out what day it is from the date. Uh, I've got the links and the dividers, right, is just a, a note section, a text section, sorry, where into each of the sections I've just entered a bunch of equal signs and then drag them vertically to create it in each of the rows, all right? Um, super useful. A few things I would think may, maybe adding to this is that, listen, sometimes we might want to know what we didn't quite manage to get done yesterday. And we can add that in as a, a function in this. So we don't want that task to disappear from yesterday until we've said, no, no, I'm complete with yesterday's card. So I'm going to set that up. Let's do this now. So if I jump in here and say, right, let's create a new checkbox function. Uh, and I'll just call it complete question mark. All right. So that's a new checkbox function in there. Uh, it's com and that's complete. And what I can drag that obviously to any of the columns that I like. If I jump back into the board view, it's not going to display there yet, but I'll jump up to three dots, come down to properties and come down to complete. And I want to view that in this view. So at the very, very bottom of each of these cards now is the complete function. And I only want that yesterday's card to disappear if I've ticked it complete. So what I'll do is I'll change my filter. At the minute it's filtered to show me everything, which is on or before one week from now and is after yesterday. Okay, so what I would do in this case is I'd remove uh, the one that's after yesterday. I'd remove that and I would add in another filter to say, right, only show me things where complete is unchecked. Complete is unchecked, right? So there we go. So I've now set that. Date is on or before one week from now. So I'm not going to see anything further in advance than one week from now. And I'm only going to see it if it's less than one week from now and complete is unchecked. So watch this. 
16th of September. I'm recording this on the 24th of September. I don't want to see the 16th of September. I know that car's done. It's complete. It's disappeared. There it is. It's gone. Uh, 20th of September. Not interested. Get rid of that card. Um, 21st of September. Yeah, fine. These are all done. All done. Right, yeah, fine. There's my shopping list. Look in the body of the, the, tab, the card. 22nd. Gone. Gone. Yeah, done. However, yesterday, oh look, I didn't do any of my tasks. I'm gonna leave that visible on this display, on this screen, in this view, so that I can remember to go back when I go into that. Oh yeah, I need to do these things, don't I? Whatever the tasks are. Maybe some of these things, once you moved on from yesterday, I'll just do them tonight, that doesn't matter. But some of these things you might not want to lose, some of these repeating tasks you might not want to lose. So there's, and once I've ticked the complete, look, once I've ticked that complete, then the card disappears. Okay, I've now gone back. I've done all those tasks for yesterday. The card's gone, isn't it? Gone, right? Another really useful aspect of this is to be able to say, right, I've got repeating tasks, but I only need to do it every Tuesday. I only need to do it every Tuesday. So let's look at how we could set that up then. Right, what I'll do is I'll come in here. I'll set up a filter to only show me where the day contains Tuesday, right? So there's all my Tuesdays, okay? And... If it's a particular, let's think, right? Um, okay, a recent thing that came up for me was that the cleaners come into my office every Tuesday, so I need to clear my desk. Clear, uh, clear office floor every Tuesday, right? Because the cleaners come in. So what I therefore need to do is, right, let's say clear office floor, I need that to be every Tuesday. Okay, so there it is. It's in every Tuesday. And what I can then do, back to the board view, and we look at the next seven days. Okay, it's not, not a task for today. This isn't a Tuesday. It's not a task for tomorrow. Tomorrow's not a Tuesday. Is it Monday? Ah, one thing I need to remember. I need to go back in the properties and tell it to show me that text. Okay, now if there's nothing in that text box, i.e. every day it's not a Tuesday because I didn't, only applied it to the day's filter to give me Tuesday, it won't appear. However, there we go. So 27th of September 2022, that is a Tuesday. And look, clear office floor has appeared there. So I therefore remember on that Tuesday when it comes to it, and Tuesday's next Tuesday, I remember I need to clear the office floor. And I can do that, jump in there. And once it's done, I can just delete it out of that box. It's gone, it's disappeared because it's done. For that Tuesday on that day. So again, super useful functionality. And that's my repeating tasks now. I'm so happy with this here. Um, it's helped me to manage those things that I have to do every day or that I have to do every Tuesday or whatever it happens to be. Super useful um, application of the board view, but also to create this repeating ta tasks in a way that you don't have to then set up complicated templates, which you then have to remember to add in every day or every week or whatever it is. Um, it's there, it's set up once, a little bit of work, but not too much, set up once and ready to go. I hope that's super useful for you. Please, please hit subscribe, like, drop me a comment if that's at all useful. If you get any further questions, remember the template for this and the full template is part of the Notion Teacher Plan of 2022. It's available in the description. You've been watching Notion for Teachers. I'm Andrew. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I'll see you again next week.